Hi, so we are talking about fabric art. How hot is fabric art right now, Christian? Fabric art is actually really hot right now. So we're going to be making a piece today. So this is it. This is fabric beautiful. Art. So it's handmade. You could go pick these up in stores. A lot of decor stores have them. They'll yeah. cost you a couple hundred dollars. This one, I probably spent less than 25 Ooh, that's And you great. probably have a lot of the supplies already at home. Yeah. If not, I can tell you where to get them. So. The price is right. It's great. And it's great for any sort of neutral homes right now because yeah. it's like it adds texture. It goes yeah. up on the wall. You could do a whole series of them. Nice. The kids could even help you. It's that easy. Okay. It's yeah. that easy. It's that easy. How do we uh, start this DIY? So to start, I'm kind of embarrassed about my laundry. <laughs> this is an old pillowcase I have at home. I don't know about you, but sometimes those white pillowcases, no matter what you do, are eventually oh, not white, we've right? All, we've all been there, yeah. my friend. So yeah, it's a sure. great way to reuse that fabric. So you already have the fabric at home. Okay. So if you want to tear up some pieces for us, show us your muscles, Trace. Here we go. We've got Let's a little... See. Take out your aggression. Ah, like Hulk. Ah. How did is I that do the noise that so Hulk easily? Makes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. You were stronger than I I am. was too young for Hulk. I have no <laughs> idea who the man is. Thank you, Screen. <laughs> So, you want to pre-cut basically a size, and you can easily rip it because it's cotton. Okay. And then we're going to grab these round canvases. So, okay. you could pick these up at an art supply store. I actually grab them at HomeSense. They have an art section now. Oh, good so to know. So, great price. Not very expensive. This size is 15. That size is 18. Yeah. Like, really inexpensive. Beautiful. So, next this, we're going to get... Are we getting messy at we all? We are going to get a little bit messy. Because you so, brought me the most stylish apron, and I just want to wear it. Yeah. It's so, so course, nice. You can apron. I'm used to getting messy. It's part of my MO. You're such a pro, you don't even ah. get messy anymore. We'll see. We'll see. So and then what do we need? the most important question for you. Yes. Because um, this is really important. Are you a boss today? Yes. Or are you careful my nails? Oh, I'm a little bit of both. I know. Uh, you know what? I'll be the boss. Okay, yeah. You Thank are way you. more the boss than I am. I so love it. I will be Just, like, play careful one on with TV. my nails. So, you do. <laughs> so, the first thing we're going to do, it kind of reminds you of if you're doing paper mache with your kids. Yep. So, white glue. Never done it, but yep. <laughs> I've even done I paper remember, mache with I your kids. You have. I remember <laughs> it from elementary school. So, it's literally going to be white glue yep. to water. One and one. Okay, so it's really easy, peasy. easy peasy. Easy peasy. I don't do math, so I'm not really measuring. No but that's problem. That's what we're going to say. Me neither. Stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. So once it feels like it's pretty much dissolved, yeah. we're going to soak our fabric. So pick your piece that you want to use. Whatever size, you can always... Just throw it in? Throw it in. It's that okay. easy. Throw it in. Get it nice and saturated. Oh, nice look at you doing two. Why not? Okay, let me get on my pink gloves. Yeah. Oh. Those look very good on you. Very style. So a use, little tight. Is it okay if I use this much? Yeah, like, of course. And do then you're going to ring it out. out. Ring okay. it out. There Make a go. little room for me. And then you're going to place it on your canvas any way you want. Artfully, like Artfully, you did. yeah. Artfully. Okay. You can't mess it up. Are you sure about you. that? Well, maybe Every you can. time they say that on this show. <laughs> <laughs> so just spread it out. You want to hey, work in some like, great folds, some great fabric over the edge. And then anything that hangs over, don't worry about it. We can always trim later. Do you mind? Like, is it okay if I double it up like that? Or you is can that do whatever much? you want. No, All you right. can. All I right. told you there are no rules. Okay, maybe I want it to be just I mean, a little bit. I may thing give you a failing grade later, but there are no rules. There. Yeah. That's <laughs> beautiful. It's very beautiful. <laughs> so so pretty. the trick here is you're gonna let this sit for 24 hours okay. till it gets fully dry. Mm -hmm. And then you know because I have magic TV oh, in my good. world. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was gonna be bad. <laughs> 24 hours oh, later. Look what, I made. look what she made. Oh, that's so beautiful. Ah. So you very can see nice. it's like Kind of crunchy. Yeah. Feels so good. I'm so used to working in gloves. That's 24 hours and it goes that's like that. That's 24 hours. Okay, very nice. So, so I, now... I need to lose my gloves. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know how women do anything in gloves. Yeah, no, it's okay. very difficult. So next stage is you want to get the canvas and your fabric the same texture. Because okay. right now it looks like fabric glued to a canvas, right? Totally. So next step, grab a little reusable container. Okay. Plaster of Paris. You may not have this at home. Yeah. You do want to get Plaster of Paris. I know there was this whole trend of baking soda. Doesn't it's going to be grittier. Okay. Plaster of Paris will be smoother, so it'll okay. look more like you've actually made the entire thing at a Plaster of Paris. Yeah, this is kind of meant for this, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I always still add in a squirt of glue. Okay. Because I figure, why not? Then you can wrap a paint color. Okay. So you want to add it in just so you can get that Plaster of Paris even whiter. Yeah. I'll be honest, you could paint this any color you want. I've seen it look really chic in black. Yeah. Really chic and white. Uh huh. I'll admit I tried it in a mushroom shade. How'd that look? 
You didn't like it. It may have been the magic of the mushrooms, but it wasn't magical. It wasn't magical. It wasn't magical. So no. I repainted it white. See, we make mistakes. You just keep going. I just find that there's something about the white on white, the tone on tone. Like, it just, it looks a little bit more high end. Yeah. You know, right? like, it looks like, oh, I paid $3,000 for this, not 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Very nice. Add a little water. Your stir stick again. I don't know where I got these tongue depressors. I stole them from the doctor. Don't tell him. <laughs> You want to get nice and smooth. Very nice. Oh, little mess. You know That's I'm okay. here. We'll fix that and later. then you're going to paint. The smallest paintbrush I've ever oh, seen. This is for our eyebrows. Wrong one. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And then you're just literally going to take it. Okay. Even though it's going to feel not as thick as it dries, and you just get into every oh, single crevice. Okay. So and you want to put it on the canvas side. So you'll see, Plaster of Paris dries fairly quickly, but you've probably got about 30 minutes before it sets up. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's a bit of a rush on this. Well, 30 minutes. It's not that big. You can okay. do this. Okay. Oh, I guess. <laughs> With my teeny tiny little So then brush. once it's set, yeah. it'll look like this guy. And if you feel it's too much texture, you can give it a light sanding. Okay. Easy, easy. And then Takes if you've had this trick, which happened on mine, so you've got a you little extra fabric, this. you can just cut it off. Oh, nice. I need that's over the edge. That's beautiful. Hang it up. You can, You're done. and I like the idea of, actually, I don't want that to keep rolling around. I like the idea of hanging it up in multiples. Yeah, you can like do Like if a you series. do a few of them or do like big circles, smaller circles, smaller yep. circle and put that up on your wall, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Easy, Very easy. nice, Christian. Give it up for Christian, it's very good.